guys, welcome back to Grace's room. So I've been really enjoying my summer holidays, but I just realized that I go back to school in just over a week, much to my dismay. And usually I, when I get my school supplies ready, I am very last minute. So this year I thought I'd be a little bit more organized and get things ready a little bit earlier so that way I can enjoy the rest of my school holidays. So we actually, they, would, they gave us like a book list of all the things that we need. So I have all that here, but I also went to my local stationery store and I got some other bits and pieces. So I think I'm all ready. I've got everything here. Uh, let's get started. So last year, you might remember if you watched my other back to school video, I used these folders and they were so handy. Like every time I needed to go to another class, I could just pull out the folders and I, and I could just pull out the folder and it have like all my school supplies in it so that way I don't have to like you know look through all like the books and stuff so they're really handy and I'm definitely going to use be using them again this year um, and I think I might just go th like through like this book list and see all the things that I need for each subject instead of like separating everything anyway but the first thing on this list is textiles so I might just use this pink folder for it and um, I'm also going to be making labels for them, so I have this label maker that I really like using, it's so much fun to use, but I'm just going to write textiles on it. Okay, so the label's on now, um, alright, so we're also going to need this really big, uh, binder thing, it has like the the plastic pockets in here as well it's like an A3 one and it is very big obviously it's not going to fit in my uh, folder here so I don't know how I'm going to get that to school especially if I need it on the very first day but I'll just leave that to the side for now oh all the folders are going to fall anyway um, I also have my textiles pencil case here that I, pre I pretty much just use this every single year but it's just got like all the sewing needles and pins and everything in it but this year they gave us a new sewing needle compact thing we also need a, mechan a mechanical pencil and um, fine liner, I forgot the name, but I'll just put this into this pencil case. They give us so many sewing needles, like I probably don't need to order any more if I do textiles next year. But anyway, I'll put that into this folder and that's everything. I'm pretty sure they give you like some other book on like the first day, so I'll just leave that for now. All right. Let's see, we'll do English next. I'll use this really pretty, I had to get a few new folders. Some of them like broke last year. So this is really pretty color. But anyway, for English, I'll quickly make my label. There we go. Okay, so we are going to be needing the Romeo and Juliet book, which honestly, I'm not too excited to read because Shakespeare's like language is like, it's very, technical and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing that this year. Um, we're also going to need oh, this binder as well, but again, I probably can't fit that in here. Um, and it, we also need like these loose sleeve pieces of paper and some, um, what are they called? Like the dividers. So I'll just like slide this into here and I'll probably just have to carry this separately. But we also need a binder book. Okay. So I've already put like my name on all of them, just makes it a lot easier. And that's all for English. I'm actually surprised, I thought there'd be a lot more. But anyway, let's do health. Nice. <laughs> a nice um, bright neon orange folder. I'll quickly make the label again. Um, and we only need one book for this. So here we go. That was pretty easy. Okay, next we have humanities. So I'm going to use a red folder for this. Um, again, I'll make my label. Oh, I, wish, I put that one very wonky. Anyway, um, oh, okay, so I only need one. It says we need two books for this one, actually. I need two 64 page ones and a visual diary, which is at the very bottom here. Here we go. And that's all for humanities. Okay. So next we have Italian. So I'll use this blue binder. 
Um, I'll make my label again. There we go. Um, so I need two textbooks for this. Uh, okay. One here is just like an activity book. So I, I think we just do like activities and stuff. And then this one here is an actual like textbook. So I'll put these in. We also need, oh, okay. So we just need one just plain um, book. And I think that's all for Italian. I think we only have to do Italian for like one more year. I don't know if I want to drop it next year. It was like, it's kind of fun, but it's a bit challenging. Um, okay, so this is for maths. I never actually use a green folder for maths. I always use the blue one for maths, but we're changing things up. So I'll make my label again. Okay, I must be very bored in class because I definitely decorated this folder. Um, so this we we actually have this new calculator that we have to use. It's very bougie. It's um, big. It's got so many like, things in it. It also comes with like a stylus pen as well. So it's definitely a lot uh, more complicated compared to the one that we had last year. So I think they'll tell us how to use it in class, but it looks a bit complicated. Okay, I might just slide this in here. We also need. All right, we need the book. Um, we also have like this formula uh, ruler as well. It's got like all like these formulas and stuff and measurements on it. We need this textbook, which I do not like putting in the folder because every time I have to carry this to each class, it breaks my back and my arms. And we need a graph book. So this one here we usually do like working out for like when we when we do like exercises when we have to like work out things because you know how maths has so many formulas and stuff. But anyway, that's all for maths. That's a pretty big folder. Okay. Um, we're nearly done actually. We only have three more subjects. So science, I'll use this folder. Again, I'll make my label. All right, so for science, we only need two books. So just these plain binder books. Oh, and a textbook as well. I really forgot, oh, I forgot to put the health book in my um, folder. I'll quickly do that now. But we have a textbook for science in here. We've actually had this one since like year seven. We usually use it like every single year. Um, but I'll quickly put, which one do I use for health again? Oh yeah, the bright orange one. And I'll keep my folder in here. Oh, my book in the folder. Um, so we only have two more subjects left. This year we're doing two new subjects, so we got to pick like um, a few new things as well. So I'm doing it media this year, and for this, I'm going to make my label again. Okay, and the rest of the things that we need for media, I'll just put those things in my pencil case. It's just like pencils. I'm pretty sure they give you like another book on the first day. And the last folder, this is for visual communication design. I'm not completely sure what this subject's all about, but I know you do some like digital design and stuff. Um, oh, my label. And again, all these things are just like things that um, I'll just leave in my pencil case. So again, we must be getting some sort of book or something like that. But that is all for the folders. Now what I'm going to be doing is my stationery. So I put some things like from last year that were like still in good quality. Um, I just like left them in here. But I did get a few new things. Like I got this pack of colorful pens. Um, I really like doing fancy borders and stuff like that. Or like my... Uh, I like the top of like my pages and stuff, so I like my colourful pens. I also got a new pack of highlighters and some new pencils as well. Very nice. And a new pencil case. This one's really good. Like I can actually fit a ruler in here as well. Um, actually, um, for some reason they didn't give you like a new ruler with this, so I might have to get like another one. I didn't realise that until I started getting everything ready. Um, but I'll start putting everything in it. Here I've got my scissors. 
I have some sticky notes. I don't think I'll take all three because it's gonna be like a lot of stuff in my pencil case. I might leave two at home and when I need more, I'll bring them. Um, maybe I'll take my highlighters out. And also, I didn't, um, I, I'm going to be reusing the labels from last year for this because I still had heaps left over. So I thought, what's the point of getting like a whole new one? So I'll quickly label my highlighters. Okay, so all my highlighters are nice and labelled now. Um, I don't think I'll label my pens. I might just leave them because people probably ask to borrow my highlighters more than these colourful pens. So there's probably no point in labelling them. Ooh, they're very pretty. I can't wait to use these. Alright, now for my pencils. I should probably get like a hair tie or something like that later and just like tie it around all the pencils because sometimes it's a little bit annoying to try and find like pens and stuff and there's all these pencils in the way. Okay, so I got a new sharpener as well because the last one that I had, because it was like all white, it got so dirty and like lots of little bits of pencils stuck in it. So I got a nice new clean one. Um, I'm going to be keeping like the two white outs that I had from last year. I have a liquid one and one of those like roll on ones as well. <gasps> oh, my pencil came out. Probably label my glue stick. Oh, I forgot to label my sharpener actually. There we go. Let's see. I have this really pretty gold pen. Um, again, probably just for like headings and stuff. Um, I got a new one of these pens because I love using these pens. It has like all the different colors on it and it's just really easy to use. So I got another one, but I'll probably take the one, probably take the one that I had from last year and use this one up before I bring this one to school first. I have a Sharpie. I have, these things are from Kiki K. You get it like in a set and there's just like, it has like a mini stapler tape and I think there's like a mini highlighter and scissors as well. But I take these two to school and it's so handy. Everyone always asks to borrow my little stapler. It's so good to have. I also just have another pack of like the little staple things as well. Some mini sticky notes. Um, maybe I should label these pencils actually. I might quickly do that. I also got this really nice mechanical pencil as well. It's really good. Um, this is just from last year as well. I didn't finish it, so I thought, why throw it, like, why get a new one? Um, oh my gosh, I have another colorful pencil as well. Um, this is just from last year too, so I may as well use this one up. Uh, another mechanical pencil, actually. We must have gotten a new one. This is for media, I think another mechanical pencil. This is because a lot of people always ask to borrow a pencil and I never have one so I thought maybe I should like take this just in case. Um, I might just take one fine liner. I don't need to take both of them. Uh, some sticky notes and my eraser. Okay, so th those things in there are just like spares I'll bring to school when I need them. But that is pretty much all for my stationery. Whoa, this pencil case is pretty filled up. Very nice. So, what to do now? All right, so now what I need to do is 
pack my school bag. I'm just gonna put all the folders that I need for the very first day of school in here. I'll take like half of it on the first day and then I'll take another half on the second day. But I know that I have some of these subjects in the very first day. So I'm going to need English. Maths. My back is going to break on the first day of school. There are so many things in here. Hmm. Where is the help? Um, I think that's all I can probably fit in here. I might have to go for three days actually. I just realized this doesn't really fit too much, but I'll close this up. I also got a new lunch box, a new lunch box because the other ones that I had were very worn down. So I got this sort of like a denim print, but it has a lot of storage on the inside. So I'll put that in here for now as well. Oh, and I can't forget my pencil case. In this front pocket here, I also have a few things like. I don't know where it went. I usually keep like a pack of mints and like some money for canteen in there as well. Um, and that's my school bag all packed. I also, from Kiki K, I got this really cute weekly planner that I'll just keep on my desk because I'm going to be in year nine this year and I need to start getting a lot more organized and stuff. So I'm just gonna keep this on my desk so I can just write homework and stuff on it. But, I think that's pretty much everything organized. I'm so glad I got that out of the way. At least I won't have to stress about it on the first day, on, on like the day before school and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are going back to school, good luck. Um, and I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.